What's up guys, the April Patreon rewards are now available. Armageddon, Teferi Time Reveler, and Nekusar the Mind Razor are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash itresolves or clicking the link in the description below. What is going on everybody? Welcome to another gameplay video. This time again trying out some new Ikoria cards with Mono Green Stompy. Uh, the list before this obviously was very focused on things like Yervo and uh, some really really strong creatures. This has the same kind of uh, feel I will say but it has a little bit more tech which I really really like. So uh, to go through the list here we are running 24 lands. Uh, we have 4 Castle uh, Garen Briggs and then 20 Forests. Uh, we can obviously sub in some Fable Passages and things like that for deck thinning, uh, but this is kind of a starting list, so not too worried about that. Uh, in the first drop, or, or the, excuse me, the one drop slot, we do have four Gilded Goose. Uh, great way to block early game kind of red uh, aggro uh, creatures, but also uh, gives us some mana ramp and gives us some potential life gain with, that, uh, with the food mechanic, which is really, really nice. Uh, Leafkin Druid as well as Paradise Druid are both in there for ramp. We are trying to ramp pretty, pretty quickly. Uh, all three of these cards are fantastic for that purpose. Uh, and giving us three, uh, well, really 12 cards to pick from for ramp is really, really nice in this particular deck. Uh, Fiend Artisan is one of the new cards that we're testing out here. Uh, running it as a three of, I think you could very easily run four of these. Uh, this card is extremely strong. So uh, for two uh, hybrid, obviously they're going to be green in this deck. It's a 1-1, one, one. Uh, but it gets plus one, plus one for each creature in your graveyard. And you can pay X and a green in this case. Tap it, sacrifice another creature, and then you get to search your deck for a creature card with converted mana cost X or less and just put it onto the battlefield. Uh, you can only do that as a sorcery, but we've obviously got some really, really good top end that this is looking to get out very, very quickly. And along with all of these ramp cards, it really makes it easy to get there. Uh, Voracious Hydra, a really, really good way to uh, fight off a lot of the creatures on the opponent side of the field and then keep us punching through damage. That really is the goal. Us is just, we're, we're just looking to swing in as much as possible. Voracious Hydra just helps us get there very, very easily, uh, which I'm really excited about. It also has some uh, synergies with Gargus. Uh, obviously, uh, this makes the Voracious, Voracious Hydra, excuse me, a little bit cheaper, which is nice. Uh, Gem Razor, uh, or in this case, the Armored Killer, uh, is a 4-4 four, four for 4, a new card from Akoria. It has Reach, which is really, really nice in this deck, as well as Trample, so it's going to be able to trample through. Now, you can mutate this onto any one of our uh, early game uh, rampers, which is really, really nice. And then when it does mutate, you destroy target artifact or enchantment that the opponent controls. So it gives us a little bit of in-game tech, uh, but it also is just a really, really strong card on its own. So it's really, really good. Uh, Questing Beast, obviously a staple in these mono green stompy lists. Uh, and for good reason. They th it threatens pl Planeswalkers very, very well. It does have haste, so it's really, really great to get with the Fiend Artisan uh, to just be able to sit there and deal as much damage as possible as quickly as possible. Uh, absolutely love this. There's not much other than really amazing things to say about Questing Beast, so obviously it's a four of in this list. Uh, we do have two of the Collector um, Umori. Uh, I hope I'm saying that correctly. We do not have this as the companion, but this is still a playable card in your deck. So you don't have to have this as your companion. Uh, you just, at that point, you don't have to follow the stipulation. Uh, in this case, you normally are going to be choosing creatures, so that way you can cheapen literally everything in your deck. Uh, and that's pretty awesome. Uh, I say literally everything except for one card. Um, and this is a really, really powerful card, one that I'm really uh, happy to be playing, I guess. I don't want to be playing too many of them because it does have, it's, it's a legendary creature, you can't get more than one out, but it is very, very strong in this list. Uh, the new Planeswalker, Vivian Monsters Advocate, uh, very, very good Planeswalker for this deck. Obviously, the majority of it is creatures getting to play those from the top of your deck amazing uh getting to two for one uh if you can minus two her pretty quickly is just amazing value and honestly that plus one has been really really strong in my uh in my experience with just being able to block flyers uh you can give them reach so it gives you the opportunity to really deal with some of the things that this deck maybe couldn't deal with 
uh, in previous iterations. Uh, Gargus, Vicious Watcher, uh, eight seven Vigilance uh, for six, amazingly good card. And whenever anything you any creature you control becomes the target of a spell, uh, this fights up to one creature you don't control. So this just gives you a lot of really really good board clear opportunity. Uh, and obviously it's a very powerful card in itself. So uh, very strong beater and does obviously a lot of damage to the opponent's board. Uh, Kogla, the Titan Ape. Uh, very, very amazing card as well for six mana. It's a seven, six. When it enters the battlefield, it does fight up to one target creature you control. So a bit of a similar role. Uh, and when it attacks, destroy target artifact or enchantment the defending player controls. So again, it gives you that little bit of tech right off the bat uh, main deck to deal with a little bit more, uh, you know, weird kind of off the wall strategies. That being said, there's a lot of strategies right now that are including enchantments. So it's obviously going to have some targets, which is really, really nice. Uh, the, the pay one and a green, I don't believe really has much synergy here. We don't even have, I don't think we have any humans. Uh, and so really that's just not going to be playable, uh, in this deck. Uh, this list is not a one-for-one one by any means. I took Day 9's uh, list that he played very recently and kind of adapted it with some of my own uh, opportunity kind of cards. I, I wanted to really play the Fiend Artisan in particular. Uh, so this one is a little bit different, but it does kind of have that base feel that uh, his list provided. We're going to jump in and do three games with this one. I love this. Uh, I, I did play test just a couple games with this. It's amazing. Uh, I found it to be very, very good. It very quickly gets out very strong stuff, which is very, I say very a lot, uh, which is extremely uh, difficult for opponents to deal with a lot of the time. So uh, really, really excited to be trying this one out. Um, interesting, interesting. This isn't a very exciting hand. It's got tons of mana. So we're really just hoping to draw something good uh, to play with all that mana. Thankfully, with the Fiend Artisan, it's a little bit easier to keep hands like this because while that card itself isn't all that powerful, it gets you to powerful things. So I'm actually going to keep this. We've got a lot of live draws with, with a hand like this. Uh, so uh, it's worth a shot. We'll see. Uh, and we can lead on the Paradise Druid just so it has Hexproof. So if they are like a mono red deck, they can't just burn it out. Let's play that out there. Get Paradise Druid down. Um... This deck does a fine job at ramping out some very quick, powerful things. Uh, let's do this. And let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I'm not expecting that they're going to have very much removal. Uh, this very well may be the uh, kind of hexproof deck. Okay, Gracious Hydra, sure. Interesting that they just kind of took that. Uh... Very interesting, in fact. Uh, unfortunately, we're not doing a very good job of drawing very much, so that kind of kind of stinks. But uh, we will go ahead and pass here. Any Again, any big draw, uh, which, again, we've got a lot of, is very, very good for us. It looks like this is kind of a an iteration of the previous green stompy deck, which is kind of cool. Uh, I am not going to block here. That's fine. Wow. Okay. Uh, well... This is getting worse. We do have the food token kind of on the field just to, to give us some life gain. Uh, so there is that, I guess. Uh, unfortunately, we're drawing quite a bit of land here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll create a food. And then we'll just go ahead and sack this to gain three. And honestly, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's actually go ahead and do this as well. Um, solely because we do have plenty of land, so pretty much anything we draw here is live. Cool. Vivian is awesome. All right, let's get Vivian down. Let's see what's on top. Another land, naturally. Uh, let's go ahead and get this out. And I think... I'm gonna give this vigilance. Um, Beauty lies in variation. Yeah, I think that makes the most sense. Uh, solely because you know, if we get in a position where we can attack, we're not looking to to reach and grab a lot of things with flying. Um, okay, they just gave up. Not really sure why they gave up there. Um, 
But hey, we won. Uh, I do think we were in a pretty good position there now that we did have Vivian. We, we needed some good stuff off the top, but Vivian really, really helps you get there. So hopefully this, this game we'll get to see a little bit more of what this deck can do. That wasn't a very exciting game one. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I will say, if you have watched any of our gameplay recently, we're really excited. We've been pumping a lot out at you. Uh, we kind of took a little bit of a break back today. Uh, so this is a bit of a slower day, but we've we've certainly been pumping a lot of it out. Uh, this does not have any mana rampers, but it does have a Hydra into a questing beast, so I'm going to keep it. We'll we'll see what we can do with it. We're not getting the best uh, starting hands this time around. Uh, potentially against Mono Red, this is actually an okay hand against Mono Red. It's not amazing. Uh, oh, okay, Gruel. Sure. Oh, this is the Storm Herald deck. This is exactly what, uh, <laughs> that's really funny, actually. Uh, this is what I played <laughs> on stream, uh, or not on stream, I should say, but on uh, on video. We'll just go ahead and double the counters. Uh, we're not going to be in a position where we have a lot of things to fight in this deck, uh, against this deck. This is a really cool list, though. Uh, if you did not see our video on the Storm Herald Colossification uh, combo, please check it out, because holy crap is it fun. Uh, it is truly amazing. You just kind of win very quickly. Uh, let's get that out there. Let's get Questing Beast out there. Unfortunately, we are in a position where we're going to have to beat him pretty quick. Um, that does not... Uh, okay, yeah. I'm not going to block. Interesting that they have Fervent Champion. Uh, I guess people are trying a lot of things. That's interesting. Uh, yep, I'll attack. We're certainly in a race here. Uh, let's get Leaf Kindred it out. Next turn we do have the, the Titan, so we can we can kill that enchantment if we want to. Uh, and really put them in a pretty bad spot. I mean, they, they do kind of have to win this turn, uh, is the takeaway. Which they might be able to do. If they Storm Herald Fling, they've got it. Um, which is really what this deck is trying to do. This deck is sweet. Uh, this is one that I'm looking to play at the JDC. So JDC is the Jank Deck Competition, if you don't already know. Uh, it's a little thing that Will and I kind of put together. Uh, it's very, very fun. We literally are just trying to do the silliest things that we can. Uh, and in this case, it's usually in Historic. Um, just so we have the opportunity to play pretty much anything. So if you're interested, highly, highly suggest checking that out. Okay, and they gave up. Uh, yeah, they, they lost that. They shouldn't have attacked there either. Uh, what I love about a new like set coming out though is you do get to see a lot of these like kind of silly decks. Um, I mean, you know, they're not amazing is what I will say. Uh, like the Storm Herald deck is fun, um, but I would argue probably only fun and not like a tier one deck by any means. Um, it's certainly cool to be able to like one shot your opponent, but a lot of times they've killed you by then. Um, and thankfully with a deck like this, we, we certainly get there pretty quickly. This is a very decent keep. Probably like a Croxa deck, I would assume. Um, so we have, you know, either Leafkin, probably Paradise Druid into, yeah, this is definitely a Croxa deck. Uh, Paradise Druid into the Collector here so we can get, um, so we can first of all get this out with Hexproof, but then second have the Collector out to make everything cheaper. We'll see what they can do. Sorry, guys. We're dropping frames here as well. I think we're coming back up a little bit. Uh, no blocks. I don't know why we're dropping frames. That's interesting. Um, let's get this out here. And we will name Creature. And we are really dropping frames. What is this? Why in the world are we dropping so bad? Sorry, guys. Uh, just going to have to kind of power through, unfortunately. Um, computer's been having a little bit of an issue today. Maybe I just need to uh, give it a quick restart. We'll see. Uh, not going to be blocking. Ooh. 
Well, that's pretty good. Um, I mean, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> so we can voracious Hydra as well, but I kind of, I kind of want to be greedy. Um, am I? Should I be greedy here? Yeah, I'm gonna be greedy. Wait, can we really? Cool. Alright, uh, I'm actually gonna attack here. I don't care as much now if this is still alive, so. Very good that they have the double mayhem they devil there. That's very, very good. Not blocking. Hmm. for two, three, and then we get four free. So one, two, three, four, five. Does that work, Terry? Oh, we could have gone six. Well, that's okay. Let's fight target creature we don't control. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know what exactly we should pick here, actually. I don't know what the best thing is. Um, I think I'm gonna ditch that because uh, I don't. I don't really want them to be drawing a ton of cards, um, especially when they are looking for, in particular. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and attack with that. That's fine. They can block. That's cool. Uh, especially when they're looking for um, the witches oven combo. I'd rather them not be able to draw some. Some extra cards. Wow, guys, these frame rates are really, really bad. I do certainly apologize. Uh, I think we're going to binge and try and record the second video, but I certainly will be taking a peek at uh, what the problem might be before we do that. Okay, so they did get Witch's Oven, which kind of sucks, but I actually don't think it's unbeatable with this deck. By any means. We do have a land on top. That's not great. Hopefully we don't have more than one. Uh, okay, so they're going to kill Vivian? But they have to sack a different permanent to do it? Hmm. Well, that's not great for us. Um, let's get land out there. Vigilance up. I love uh, making new friends. Let's go ahead and attack in. I'm just going to swing in with everything here. <clears throat> uh, other than the Paradise Druid, obviously. <coughs> We've got enough mana, so like I'm kind of just looking to get rid of the death touch so we can swing in with everything next turn. <clears throat> yep. So here they certainly can kill Vivian. Although, can they? They don't have another sack outlet, do they? Oh, I guess they can play the Woe Strider from the graveyard, probably. Well, and they're getting the, the triggers off of this. Seems 
I need to evolve too. All right. Are we back up with frames? No, we were for a second. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Here, I think we are uh, in very, very bad shape. We don't have... We have a forest on top anyway, so I think we are uh, going to end up losing this one. And because we're dropping frames here, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and concede. We'll uh, we'll jump into another video here in a minute. Uh, so you should be able to get two gameplay videos out of this one pretty quickly. Uh, if you are still here, please uh, make sure to like and subscribe as always. We really do appreciate it, and thank you for watching. This has been a fun deck, uh, but hopefully we can get some better games and some better frames uh, in the next video. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you very soon.